Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, let's explain how the rollout of 25H2 will work within the next hours, days, and weeks. So, some of you will have it today if you go to your settings and to your Windows update, and you turn on get the latest updates as soon as they're available and check for updates, chances are there might be a 25H2 update for you here. Now, it might not, but there's a chance it could be. Also, Microsoft will let people that are in the Windows 11 24H2 ring, um, if they do what's called being seekers, some of you might start getting it even if this slider is off if you check for updates manually. So it won't appear unless you do it manually. Um, so this is the first step of the rollout. So some of you need to turn on get the latest updates. Some of you don't need to, but will need to check manually for updates. And we'll see 25H2. Now, a lot of people won't see anything today or even in the next few days. Why? Because this rollout is going to be like all other rollouts. Slowly, Microsoft will open the faucet of data bits that are going to download to you. So what happens is that they're going to use the diagnostics and feedback from your machine to verify and make sure that you're okay. And slowly, more and more users will see the update appear. And uh, for a while, that will be, like I said, when you do check for updates. Once you have uh, passed this moment, if you've been you know, several days, several weeks, at some point when Microsoft feels comfortable, they'll just release the update for all compatible machines, which means at some point you'll get a notice or a notification that's going to say, okay, well, you know, 25H2 is here. Or you might see it if you go check Windows Update. There'll be a little banner saying, oh, by the way, you can upgrade to 25H2 if you want by clicking here. So uh, it's not going to be automatic. It's just going to wait there until you click, okay, I, I, I want to go. And uh, eventually, well, that and quite a, a while from now, many months from now, will reach what's called general availability when everything seems all right and everybody will have it. And of course, um, the way they these updates work is that when a update, when a version that you have is nearing the end of support, well, the automatic push to the new version happens and that's where some of you might actually be pushed to 25H2. But for now, you don't see it, don't worry. It's just starting in the last hour or two to release for some users and at some point it will appear like on this machine right now i don't see it even with the uh, get the latest updates but i do have it on my uh, main gaming laptop so uh, there it works so uh it's the same just to let you know the same thing as 24h2 pretty much it's really just an enablement package which will change the bell number to 26200. Right now, you're at 26100 on 24H2. The ending will be the same. So it's really pretty much the same thing. And once again, it uh, Microsoft did say that all the features of 25H2 will also be on 24H2. So there will be no difference really between both versions uh, for the most part. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.